Hello everybody, welcome back. We are headed today to check out the Nomad Lounge at Animal Kingdom. I am, we've walked by this Nomad Lounge, I don't know how, like literally a hundred times, if not more. I, I'd say maybe even a thousand times. I'm not even, like, I, that sounds like a lot, but I'm not kidding. As many times as we walk, like, not not like we've been to Animal Kingdom a thousand times, but I swear we've walked by that a thousand <laughs> times. That way, that way, that way, that way. We would probably walk by it like ten times in one day, in one trip, so... It's been a lot, and we've never we've never stopped there. I we've never done I it. Go there. So I always just kind of associated Nomad Lounge with the restaurant that's right next to it, Tiffin's, which you can get like a, you need like a dining reservation to get into. I mean, you could probably do walk up if they have availability, but not very likely. <laughs> um, and I've just never really paid much attention to Nomad Lounge. And we finally we were walking by, and I was like, let's. We walked up, and you could get seating. Like it was just kind of like a bar standby seating, and we walked up. Um, to find out, like, can you just get in there? Like, sure. So we're like, well, next time we come to Animal Kingdom, we've got to we've gotta go to Nomad Lounge. So today, we are going to go to Nomad Lounge, and we are going to try some stuff. I'm excited. It just looks like, <laughs> it just looks like drinks and apps and stuff like that, yeah, and maybe a little bit of food. Um, but I believe you can also get a couple of items from Tiffin's next door. Um, not everything. There's just a couple, I think, that are maybe specials you can get. Um, so I'm excited to try it. It looks fun. Stay tuned. We're gonna do. We're gonna check out Nomad Lounge and see if it is any good. We are going to try out this Nomad Lounge. We have never done this before. This is going to be another new thing for us. We've walked by the Nomad Lounge and Tiffin's, which is right over there. Reservation restaurant. You can see Tiffin's. We've walked by here a bunch of times. We've never done the Nomad Lounge. So we want to get, we're just going to go ahead and give it a shot today. There's not that many people here. We put our name in. They said it was a, about a 30 minute wait. They texted us and we're coming back. Let's do it. And apparently this is our seat. Check this out. What? They asked us if we if we wanted to do inside or outside, and I said, well, whatever's the most comfortable and or chill and relaxing and quiet, and then so we just came back, and this is our spot. Like, what? Uh, <laughs> I could get used to this. <laughs> Living in the lap of luxury nice here, here at Disney. Yeah, it's really cute. It's quiet. It's nice. Um, here, What's take a look. There's the river that I was just talking about where the uh, Discovery the Discovery boats used to be. And then that's the bridge over there to Pandora. But I mean, we're literally just chilling here in this like awesome space. There's enough space here for like eight people. Um, so we'll have to come back here with like a group of people. Uh, first, we need to get friends because we have no friends. I'm not kidding. We have no friends. We have no friends. So if, if you're ever in the parks and you're like, hey, we know you. Please come up and say hi, because we have no friends. We don't. If you want to hang out, let us know, because we have no friends. Uh, but we'd love to bring some friends here and hang out. Sounds awesome. Uh, so let's take a look at the menu. But man, this is this is a little high society here. Oh, a little bougie. <laughs> this place is super cute. Yeah. I love it. We've like it's really nice. We always pass by, and I'm like, I want to do that. Um, and I, when we come, I always check, and it'll be like walk up list, uh, walk up list at capacity. Thank but today, you. Today, thank you. Um, it wasn't at capacity. Honestly, when we walked yeah. up to put our name on the list, and we looked, I looked up. She was like, "Where do you want to sit?" And I was like, "Well, wherever, you know." And uh, so wherever it's like, you know, cool. Like I said, and I looked over here, and I, th I thought this was the waiting area. No, I knew it was. I, I didn't know. I knew. It was I literally, it looked like the waiting area because it was just like people chilling and like like these nice comfy seats. I thought it was just like a waiting room for like the restaurant or something. I didn't know this was actually going to be where we sit. Yeah. This rocks. Yeah, it's really nice. Uh, so I'm excited to give this place a go. Um, the menu looked great. We took a look. So let's tell you while we're waiting for our drinks and food to come, we'll tell you a little bit about what we got. Oh wait, check it out. Saw one of the little boat parades come through. You can see it, it right the here. the drumming one from the... Oh, the drumming one from Kite Tales? Yeah. So, do they um, still do cocktails? I noticed that they also <laughs> have they also have these little um, you see the little there's like netting mosquito netting yeah that looks like they can pull the netting across the uh, railing here to enclose this area to keep like bugs out I'm guessing yeah 
Yeah. Because it looks like mosquito netting. So I'm guessing like maybe as the uh, as the sun goes down and it gets a little darker and maybe the because this is on the river as the gnats and mosquitoes and stuff yeah. come out, they can actually close those but still keep it like airy and fresh. It's really by the way, it's really it feels really good right it here. It really does. Like it feels so nice right yeah. here. Like and I'm not hot, there's a yeah. fan right there. And it's technically winter and we're just chilling here and I'm with and it like a little tank top. Yeah, but it's nice out. It's like 70 something degrees, it's but it, so it feels nice. really good right here. I don't know how it would feel if it's 95 degrees out. But I would still like it. <laughs> I still feel like it would be relatively comfortable. So anyway, let's talk about what we got. So I got the Hightower Rock Strip. Um, I looked on the menu and I saw two different drinks that have watermelon. Like every time she moves her head, I get smacked in the face Sorry. by her. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> Well, they're lower than my other ears, so I'm not used to it. <laughs> so these ears are for anyway. dual purpose, cute and to, to smack me around. Up. Yeah, it's, I, I need it. Trust me, I need it. Uh, so my drink has, I saw two with watermelon in it, and I just picked one. So the High Tower Rocks has tequila in it. The other one had vodka. I kind of was leaning towards the vodka more, but it, the, te the tequila one sounded like it had more interesting stuff in it. Is that what it. you got? I did. I got the tequila. I like tequila. <laughs> I don't dislike it. Um, and whatever. So I got the one with tequila, watermelon, sweet and sour, and lime juice. I'm not a huge fan of sweet and sour mix. Yeah, I'm surprised you got so that So we'll one. see how this goes. Why did I, I get this one? I have no idea. What was I doing? I, I, I tried to tell you to get the one with vodka. Yeah, the other one had vodka, watermelon, hibiscus. Like and lime juice isn't hibiscus like a flower though? Yeah, but I still think you would like it better. But it's fine. I don't, I don't like flowery You're stuff. You're stuck with what you got. I don't like flowery smells. Well, you I don't also like flower don't like flavors. I don't like flowery. I, don't like I just don't like flowers. Yeah, not a, not a fan. So well, I got something I know I'll like. Yeah, what'd you get? I didn't look for something I, I knew were... I wouldn't like. I, I was torn between two. I was torn between the um, leaping, leaping lizard, lizard. and. Um, I don't know if I'm saying this right. The lamb. Oh, they're here. Here it is. They showed up already. Okay, they just, just showed it. up. They just showed up. So I got the Lamu libation. He had to tell us. <laughs> um, it has rum, two different kinds of one. One is a banana rum, which that sounds good. I've never had I that. almost wanted to get that just because it said banana yeah, rum. And now it, that I've drank the banana. Sold it on me was because that. the banana. I'm not like, I've never thought about banana, but like the banana drink at Club Cool. Now it has me thinking yeah, about banana totally differently. <laughs> so now I'm like all about yeah. trying stuff with banana. Is and it, it has like, guave so puree, orange lime, and pineapple uh, juice in it. And another, it has like three different kinds of rum in it. Um, so yeah. He said hers is probably going to be the strongest drink because it has some sort of rum, uh, like uh, what's it called? Floater? Yeah. A rum floater on the top. So we'll see. So our drinks just showed up. So why don't we just. Yeah, and it took like less just, than yeah, five minutes. Let's show like a picture minutes. of them. Look at this. Oh, this great. is actually pretty big. I'm going to get mine, but I'm kind of scared because it's really full and I'm a klutz. It's got a so. big old watermelon honk on the side of that. I love watermelon. Oh my gosh, Boy, this is I'm the a... heaviest glass I've ever Th held This in is my heavy, life. too. This is... Mine's a little smaller, but don't, it's I don't like my slightly hands. wider. I hate my hands. When I do this, I'm always trying to hide my hands. <laughs> um, okay. So, yeah, this is really big. Yeah, and I see the, the rum floater on the top there. The darker um, color. But yeah, I mean, it looks really good. They're really pretty drinks. Like this, everything here is just like really, really cute. Her drink was fifteen dollars, and mine was sixteen dollars. So his is more. So mine's a little bit more expensive. And, mine's, but mine's bigger, and his is smaller. I mean, mine's. I feel like this is like a slightly wider glass than yeah. hers. Hers is a little oh, bit gosh, taller. Oh gosh, it's so heavy. <laughs> I don't usually like straws and stuff, but I, love I feel straws. like this needs to be like stirred up. So I'm just gonna try and get it from the bottom there. All right, let's give it a try. Wow, the watermelon is strong with this. I don't this. taste any alcohol in this because I taste it from the bottom. I taste a lot of pineapple, which I love pineapple. Here, let me just take a sip of mine. She she doesn't have like a watermelon she so. doesn't have a sip. I'll be like I'll, I'll be go ahead sip it. I don't want try watermelon. my drink and it'll be like I'm like <laughs> so a sip. Okay. Just a little sip. It's very watermelon, right? You can taste that. It tastes margarita, but I also no, no, it does no. taste like watermelon. It doesn't taste like a margarita to me. 
I don't like it. Well, I just taste I would it. not like it if it tastes like a margarita. Well, it's because I taste the tequila. Oh, our food's Oh, that up. looks good. Yum. So good. Thank you. This is awesome. I love watermelon, so I it. This is hitting it on all the notes. Yum. Our food just got here, and the waiter went through, like, all the stuff. Like, I don't I wish I would have, like, filmed it. Because he was just like, this, 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 this. Like, he talked for, like, it was, like, five-minute long, like... It was explanation minutes, but it was definitely like it was like minutes. it was like a lot and i was like <laughs> the whole time i was like oh my gosh i don't know any i don't i'm not gonna remember any of this yeah there's so much stuff i, I I'll, let's take a look at this in just a second but let's talk about the drinks so the watermelon it tastes like a watermelon it definitely tastes watermelon it tastes like a watermelon jolly rancher it's so good i love water by the way watermelon jolly ranchers are my favorite Jolly Rancher. Like, I love, I'm using the word love here. That's not how it is. Jolly Ranchers. Love watermelon Jolly Ranchers. They're so good. And that tastes like it. I love it. This is this is an amazing drink. Let me try your dusty drink now. It's not dusty. It's good. It's rum. Don't ever do that with your mouth ever again. Don't. I was thinking that. <laughs> I know it's okay. Yeah, it's not bad. It tastes, it tastes it tastes like pineapple. What does it taste like? Pineapple. It tastes like straight pineapple. To uh, did make. you even taste any alcohol yet? I think it's no. I think at it's top. at the top. Maybe stir it up. Yeah, I will. But it tasted like I was drinking pineapple juice. Mine, however, tastes amazing. I almost don't want to stir it up because I don't want to jack it up like something's gonna happen to it. But it's so good. It was like a little gnat. Shut that screen there. This might be my favorite drink I've ever had. I definitely taste alcohol now. Woo. It might be my favorite drink I've ever had. I'm sure you like it. My sister Kelly would really it's like this. So my sister good. Kelly loves watermelon and she loves sour stuff, and that's what I think about when I taste mm. it. That was her. Okay. Enough Kelly, of the drink. remember when dad used to say watermelon seeds were gonna grow watermelons were gonna grow in your stomach as you ate the seeds? seeds? Yeah. That's been going around for a long time. Anything like lemons, same thing. Yeah. Okay, enough about the drinks. Yeah. I'm very impressed with the watermelon drink. What do you think? This this watermelon drink is 10 out of 10 for me. It's probably it maybe the best. Out of 10 for me. Maybe the best drink I've ever had in my life. That's more like a six out of ten for me. Let me try it now. You stirred it. She stirred it up. Nah. Sorry. It's not any better. I like it. It tastes the alcohol now, but it's still not any better for me. It it tastes fine though. All right. I've got to get a shot. Let me just give you a shot of the food here. It's, it's insane. First off, let me just give you a look of the bread service here. There's a couple different types of bread. He said some sort of thing about like a focaccia or something. And some These are some like crispy things. I don't know what this <laughs> That's is. That's the official name. Crispy, crispy things. things. There's a couple of like, uh, I don't know, jams and sauces here. Bread service. Yum. It looks good. And then we got the charcuterie board too, which also looks delicious. Yum. Okay, it's starting to get a little darker now. Uh, and unfortunately, our camera does not deal with the dark very well. Like, I, we're gonna try and get a new camera, because this one, the camera's great during the day, but at night, like, it just does not let enough light into the to the lens. So we need to get a better camera for nighttime. So it's starting to get dark, so you can see all this graininess happening in my face, and I hate that. So anyway. That's just being old. That's just, whatever. That's just me being <laughs> stupid about it. But, let's talk about the charcuterie board. Oh, man, look at this thing. It has, I love charcuterie. It has so much stuff on it, I have absolutely no idea what he said. I know Cheese. he said this was something duck. That's he all I know. He said something about duck. That's, that's the only one I remember. fig jam, other cheeses, some House sort of pickle. Housemade kielbasa. I, I don't even... Mustardy things, meat stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but we did ask about it. He said they used to have a cheese board and a meat board. And we've seen that a lot in Disney. Yeah, and it, that, in Cincinnati, it's like, it's like always all together. Like charcuterie to me is yeah. meat, cheese, and bread. Like something to yeah. put meat and cheese on, like cr crackers or something. For some reason, every time we look at charcuterie here, it's like Everything they have like a charcuterie, which I think is technically charcuterie is like the meat or something. But like there's either a meat or a cheese board, and there's not both. And I'm like, I don't want to buy both. So like he said they used to have one of each, and they said they finally just combined it recently into one charcuterie board. I'm like, yes, thank you. This is $18. It's on this cute little, like, stone kind of, like, board or whatever. It's really cute. Yeah, it's this heavy. Um, but it was $18, and I'm excited because it has both. It has the meat and the cheese, and it's got a little bit of veggies and stuff, too, So and the, and the bread to put it on. So it's like, 
It's like the real deal. I'm excited about the shakiri board. Very excited. And, and don't it was a special. What we're eating, though. It's not this was not on the menu. It was no, on the specials. Not. The little specials placard. Yeah. So I did ask him, he said they usually have it, so if you do come, charcuterie board, they probably have it. I had looked at the menu after we scheduled our reservation. Um, I was like, I wonder what they have. I was like, oh, we'll just get the bread service. And I had no idea they had charcuterie, so yeah. yeah. And I showed the bread service in the video there, but yeah, it's only 12 bucks. So the bread service comes with a couple different types of bread. There's like, there's like a focaccia bread. There's like some sort of chips. There's like a little like tortilla looking thing, almost like a, a piece of naan. <laughs> So, um, and then the different, and then the different sauces, there's a red pepper hummus, and there is a, what's it called, a, what was the next one, the ginger pear chutney, that sounds good, ginger pear chutney, yum, and then the, spicy coriander yogurt, yum, so they all sound good, alright, let's just dig in, enough talking, let's get, let's get to it, I'm, I'm excited, I'm gonna do all the different sauces on this one little piece of bread. So I'm going to do the same. Let's do the hummus first. I like hummus. He's not a big hummus fan. It's not like I eat hummus regularly, but I do like it. That'd be the, really good. The, the bread isn't the best bread I've ever I mean, had. It's, it's it, kind of it, it, soggy. Not, it's weird. It's got a weird texture. For me, non needs to be like... I don't think I don't think it's non. It's something. Maybe it is, but it's like weird. It almost tastes like Play-Doh-y. Yeah, but the hummus like is clay really like. Good. Let me try the focaccia bread. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that back. Change my mind. So are you trying you're trying this? Yeah, I'm gonna try the focaccia bread. I think that's what he said it was. Focaccia. Try the spicy coriander yogurt. I don't know what that means. I don't even know what coriander is. Is it a seasoning? It's pretty good. Oh that's good. This bread has like a sweetness on it though. I like this bread. Interesting. Which means I definitely want to try this pear ginger pear chutney with this bread. Look at that. I like that. I don't like it that much. Oh, I like it. It's okay. It's real sweet. Yeah. I think it depends on your mm. palate, like your taste palate. It's I like okay. it a lot. I'd much rather have the hummus or the, Oh. what was this again? I mean, I guess it depends on if you want sweet or savory. I, I really like this sweet, with the sweet bread, yeah. with the sweet chutney, is really good. Pear, I don't ginger, hate it, yum. but when I taste it, I was like, mm. I like it a lot, but she doesn't like these kind of, she doesn't really like the mango chutney types of things, pear. I'm not a big fan of hummus, but this hummus is pretty good. I love the hummus. I feel like I like the chip more than I like either one of the breads. <laughs> Let's move on to the cheese board now. Oh, I'm gonna like try the cheese. same thing as you. So wait. This cheese is really good. It's like a sharp, almost like a sharp cheddar or something. I don't know. Mmm, oh, it's really good. I'm gonna try the duck. The only thing I know that he um, told us what what it was was duck because it's like duck. Yeah. I'm gonna try it. Duck something. Kind of tastes like beef jerky, a little bit. It's alright. Yeah. It's not gross. Alright, I don't know what this cheese is, but it looks kind of like brie. I was going to say, this looks like the cheese that you don't like. I don't like brie, so I don't know if it is. Let's see what happens. Is it brie? I don't know what it is, but I don't like it. I don't like it either. <laughs> I don't like it I don't like either. it. I don't like it. I don't like that. I feel like it's brie. I don't know what it is. Look at it. Now, I'm not a fan of those like soft cheeses like that. Did you see this meat right here? Look at this. And what are these little... What is that? I think they're like mustard seeds or something. Show it. Okay, it looks like fish eggs. <laughs> Doesn't oh, it? Yeah. But it's not. What is it? I think it's mustard seeds or something. I don't know. I'm just trying everything individually and it's all good. It's not how you would you normally eat this. them. I'm not, I don't know what that is. It looks scary. I'm not going to try it. Let me show you. I don't know. Try it. Yeah, get some of that. I don't know what that is. I can't pick it up. What is it? Is it good? No? <laughs> I don't know. But it's not good? No. So this cheese is really good. You know, did he, did he say an olive tapenade maybe? That's olives. 
Okay, well maybe I'll like that. Let me try it. Yeah, this, it's like an olive. Is it top and odd? I don't know. Yeah. I don't like it. I you like all. Like, I like all, like but I don't like it. I don't like it. You don't. I don't like it. Do you think it's red? Okay, so the question is. I, I like it. Both olive green and black olives. I don't like it. Is it green or black? Do you I don't know, but I don't like it. Here's a green olive here. Good to go. I'm gonna eat that. Okay, I'm gonna try this little these mustard. I don't like that. It looks olive like top and fish eggs, or whatever it is. But Steve says it's. I think mustard. it's just like mustard seeds. But look. What is that? A little bit of jam. I'm gonna taste it. Here. The big jam's good. Oh, the, yeah, that is mustard. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, it's mustard. Okay, like so I'm that. gonna now I'm gonna do what you're supposed to do and put a little bit of cheese, a little bit of stuff on there. Here, here, you take part of this bread. I don't need this colossal this piece of bread. This is the worst review of this ever. Probably. Wait, first we should try this. We didn't even try this. I tried all that. Yeah. I didn't. What is it? I don't know. You tried this and didn't say. Yeah, it's anything? like a fig jam. It's like a fig jam or something. I like it. It's like a sweet, it's like a sweet fig jam, I think. Okay, look at this. Look at that bad boy. What'd you put on it? Okay. Everything. Okay, I got the cheese. I got the um, kielbasa. I got a little bit of the, a uh, little bit of the mustard. Yeah, a little meat, a little cheese, a little fruit. That's that's it. That's basically what I have. And then I have uh, some of this other meat. I don't know what this this other meat is, but it looked good. Some pickled stuff. Some mustard seed stuff. He said some. This is the worst review of this thing ever. <laughs> I don't know what any of this stuff is. No, he told us, but we were like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. We're fancy. Yeah, I, I was we like, know I was like, oh, about. yeah, in my mind, I was like, I have no idea. Okay. Okay, this review can't, it's only so long. Wait, huh? oh, wait, I'm going to get a carrot. Okay, we have to eat it right, now. Let's do it. Sorry, I eat the carrot. What I'm going to eat the rest this? of this cheese. Oh, I am too. But on a. Scale, it's like a 7 out of 10 for a charcuterie board for me. 7? Yeah, 7. Oh, Bread service for me is, what do you think? What was yours on the charcuterie? Uh, on the charcuterie, I would say between the six and the seven. Six and seven? Yeah. And then the bread service? Um, it's probably like a seven for me too. i say between the six and the seven again. I wish there was more hummus. Um, I can, normally I like the chutney. I don't hate the chutney on this one. I just, it's not my favorite. I like it a lot. I love so. the chutney. I think it's overall, this is like, the, the food is a 7 out of 10 the for me overall. Drinks are a 10 out drinks of 10. Drinks are 10 out of 10. But honestly, all together, it's like an 8 or a 9. Actually, I'd say this is probably more like a 9 out of 10. I love overall the experience. Because love of, it. if you combine the food and the drink and the ambiance and where yeah. we're sitting and the chill and how good it feels out here, it's, it's like a 9 out of 10 for yeah. me. This is like a hidden gem. I would come back. This is like a hidden gem. Wouldn't you come back? I will definitely come back. Yeah, and there's lots of places we, places we try. We're like, we're not going back there. Yeah, this is like a come back. hidden gem in my opinion, even though it's right in the very open, right when you cross the bridge. It's not hidden at all, but for me it's hidden because I don't think a lot of people come here. What I love about this is you can do walk-up. Um, it's not always available. It seems like most of the time we've yeah. been here, it's been available to do walk-up. We only had to wait 30 minutes. Like, we just came up, put our name in, walked over, did a little bit of this stuff in Pandora, came back. They texted us when we came back. Yeah. And we're in, like, Flynn, so, I mean, and... It's a little expensive, not like hugely, but it's like reasonably priced. And the food, everything, I think 9 out of 10 experience. So yeah. I highly recommend Nomad Lounge. We'll definitely be coming back. So yeah, that's our review. All right, there you have it. That's Nomad Lounge. Um, I thought it was awesome. I loved it. I would go again for, for, for sure. Man, was it good. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't that expensive. The, the food... The cheese plate, the cheese board that we got, so that it was the cheese, like a charcuterie and cheese, which I've said this before, it's always been a complaint of mine that some places just have cheese or meats, and they don't have both. This one had both, um, and, 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 I, and I said it, um, basically, that that's, that's new, that they had them separate and they put them together, so that's a good move, Disney, I got to tell you, <laughs> good job, and just the ambiance of it, we're, we're going to go back. Yeah. We'll be back. I, I think now... It's going to be hard for me to go to Animal Kingdom and not go to the Nomad Lounge. It was that good. Yeah, I love the ambiance of it. It's very, very cute. Um, yeah. uh, peaceful, cute, pretty. I don't know. I loved everything about it. I think it's the best bar lounge thing that we've been to in Disney. It is, definitely. I mean, except for like Hangar Bar at Disney Springs, I really love too. But like in like the parks? Yeah. I feel like that's the best one that we've been to. It's a nice little hideaway at Animal Kingdom. It's it's awesome. So, yeah. 
Highly recommend No Man Lounge. It was awesome. Um, so that's how, that's it. That's it. That's it for this episode. So um, until tomorrow, stay tuned because we'll have another episode tomorrow. Um, until then, the noble way is the easy way. Bye bye, everybody. Bye.